GM finally announced an electrified Corvette. If I say electrified, think of it as a hybrid Corvette, and its new electric technology will use the electric Corvette's battery heat to extend its range. Let's first take a look at the Corvette EV's videos that GM released today and then talk about it. Okay, so you just saw this 25 seconds Corvette, which I think says a lot about GM's new technology. So it's official. A fully electric Chevy Corvette is coming with new battery technology to boost its range, acceleration, and efficiency. When it arrives, the battery electric sports car will benefit from a new technology recovery future GM announced on Monday for the Ultium battery platform underpinning its electric vehicles. The upgraded system uses a uh, patented heat pump that GM says will help electric vehicles charge and accelerate faster and boost range by up to 10%. GM Motor will release a hybridized version of its iconic Chevrolet Corvette sports car next year with a battery electric model to follow, General Motors President Mark Royce announced Monday on LinkedIn. Here's what he said. He said, yes, in addition to the amazing new Chevrolet Corvette Z06 and other gas-powered variants coming, with, uh, coming, we will offer an electrified and fully uh, electric Ultium-based Corvette in the future, Royce post, uh, posted on LinkedIn. In fact, we will offer an electrified Corvette as early as next year. Details and names to come at later date. While we're looking for the waiting for the details and the names of these vehicles, I want to say that looks like this. GM first will have an electrified Corvette next year, okay? And this means hybrid or plug-in hybrid. Then GM will have the electric Corvette at a later day, maybe in a few years. The new Ultium Energy Recovery System already powers the automakers Hummer EV and um, Bright Drop EV 600 co commercial van and will be used in forthcoming all-electric models, including the Hummer SUV and Chevrolet Silverado pickup truck and Blazer SUV. Royce described the technology as a patented onboard system that takes the heat generated by electric vehicle batteries and uses it to warm the cabin, create more efficient charging conditions, and even increase vehicle acceleration. Now, this is great in my opinion. Why couldn't other companies come up with this? Why couldn't we use that tremendous amount of heat, the energy that is saved there, to heat up our cabins of our electric vehicles or other vehicles, like instead of using gas, even if it's a gas car, right, or a hybrid car. Anyway, the energy saved could be put to use in a number of ways. Lawrence Zier, GM Energy Recovery System Project Manager, told media in a briefing Friday. Here's what he said. We could do several things with this energy, including increasing the electric vehicle's range and carrying out electrified functions like uh, heating and even preconditioning our batteries for faster charging and um, acceleration. Zier said, for example, we can heat and uh, heat the cabin of our electric vehicles more quickly in cold weather uh, than comparable IC vehicles do. Indeed, this amount of heat should be used in a reasonable way. These benefits are only possible with a ground-up EV uh, platform like Ultium and not easily done with a retrofit, according to Royce. GM has not announced any other details, such as the battery electric Corvette's name, price, or arrival date. For that information, we have to wait and be patient until we get more information on that. But when do you think this will come? When do you think GM will make an announcement? But I'm sure GM already has something substantial in place and maybe like a uh, prototype or something that Royce is making this announcement on LinkedIn. GM has not, like I said, announced any details, price, arrival, or specs, but this 
uh, a very ex uh, interesting detail that this Corvette, electric Corvette, will use the heat generated by the drive to use um, to warm up the cabin. Now, we have been expecting an electric Corvette ever since Chevy got the Bolt electric vehicle out the door in 2017. Rumors of its uh, existence have abounded for a long time, but we have now uh, in 2022, and you have to wonder if GM is too, uh, is too late to the electric supercar party. Uh, what do you think about that? Do you think GM will strike very interesting way? So let's look for that. And uh, only having an electrified version, that was a quote from Royce, version um, by 2023 and full EV1 later is frankly a kind of disappointment think some electric websites like the electric what is this thing going to have that will be better than the mustang gt Taycan, Taycan, or model s plaid besides uh, besides no cargo space sure it will look really cool but has the ship already sailed on the far superior electric technology. I don't know. This is what electric things and as for the Ultium battery electric things and as for the Ultium battery energy recovery system, is this just a glorified verbose way of describing a heat pump, he says. Uh, yes, but this is also very important because other electric vehicle companies, uh, yes, of course, especially Tesla, have been recycling the excess heat from the batteries to heat the cabin for some time now. It is highly important for GM to also do so if they expect the electric vehicles to be competitive, especially in cold weather climates. So, let me know, friends, your thoughts. What do you think about this? What do you think about the electric, uh, electrified Corvette? Do you think it will appeal a lot of people? Do you think it will be uh, selling well? And um, I think it's time for uh, supercars also come to electrified versions, that Corvette also will have an electrified version. But I think GM may have been waiting to uh, kind of improve its uh, Ultium system before coming up with an electrified uh, hybrid version. So what reasonably can we expect next year from this uh, electrified corvette what does this mean this means electrified hybrid corvette or plug-in hybrid these days plug-in uh, hybrid vehicles are becoming very popular and i will not be surprised if uh, gm's corvette comes with like 25 miles of plug-in hybrid range or maybe even 50 miles of plug-in hybrid range if they're going to get to the supercar electric vehicle uh, segment uh, because they can give you a good range and thus appeal to people because they have to have some features that are better than Tesla, better than other electric uh, supercars like Lucid Motors and something like that. This is why I'm looking forward to it and see how things will go and what they will do. And I think maybe a year later by 2020 for uh, GM can introduce an electric Corvette. Otherwise, after that, it may be too late. And like electric says, the ship may be uh, sailed already. What about you? What are your thoughts? Let me know, friends, in the comment section below. And if you like what you saw already in this video regarding what GM released about the electrified Corvette. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you soon in our next report.